Cowboys Nation of YouTubers. It's that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. I make these videos for me and you. And they're a little therapeutic. Because Lord knows, a couple of hours after I post my video yesterday, uh, it came out that Dak Prescott is no longer on a pitch count, no limitations. He is 100% full go for the season. Now, where are all the haters? Where are all the people who thought this was going to be a thing? Who are all the people that just freaked out when he was getting a second MRI? I, 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 what y'all got to talk about now? Y'all going to say it's an ankle thing again? It's a lat injury? Or, or Mark uh, Florio and Adam Schefter are going to say this injury will linger long into the season? And, you know, all that BS just to try and get clicks because nothing's happening <laughs> but that's what they do they make up something to get a story but anyway we know and the world knows Dak Prescott's ready to go he's eyeing Tampa Bay that's what he's planning for he's not worried about Jacksonville on Sunday it'd be nice if he could get a couple reps in but I wouldn't risk it now what would be the point but uh, that's the news on Dak from yesterday. Today we have Malik Hooker activated off the COVID-19 list and returned to practice. So with him and Mukwamu back, that's two safeties back that can contribute this Sunday in case they're needed. Because uh, I know that starting to first report it, it was we were thin at safety, but now we got two back, so that takes care of that safety trouble that people were thinking about for the game. I mean, we got bodies. It is what it is. But, you know, you want those names back, uh, especially Mukwamu, to uh, get some film on him, see if he can make the team uh, in the safety role. Uh, Hooker, he's trying to get acclimated still to the uh, our defensive coordinator and uh, all our cadences and nuances. So it's best he get as many reps as possible. So glad to see that he's back. Uh, other news today, we have uh, Zeke Elliott getting a bonus. They have restructured his contract, turned a bunch of his uh, salary for this year into a signing bonus, which leaves us uh, with, I think it added 6.8 million to the cap. So I saw one place that said we had about 12 million uh, and another place say seven. So between seven to twelve million dollars on the cap right now that uh, we could do two things with. One, we can sign free agents or uh, anything, make a trade or anything like that this season before the season starts to try and get somebody in. Or we can roll it over next off season because we're over the cap currently as it stands if the amount doesn't go up which I'm pretty sure the amount is gonna go sky high again. So I wouldn't worry too much about us being anywhere near that cap because we'll always make space. That's what the Cowboys do, they always make room. You never see a team get stuck over the cap when it counts. But that's pretty much the headlines right now. Uh, around the league, we have so many COVID outbreaks happening again. Uh, it's starting to hit Tennessee again. And, of course, if this happened during the season, they will forfeit a game. And that's not going to look good for the NFL. So between the NFL and NFLPA, they're going to have to probably go back to daily testing. I, I hate to say it, and they hate to hear it, but to make sure that these guys are uh, coming in with negative tests all the time, or, un -ace, uh, or asymptomatic or nothing else, you gotta start testing them. Because there's apparently 14 days in between tests and in between 14 days, anybody could carry it and spread it before y'all catch a positive test. So that's not looking good on their part. They're gonna have to figure that out. But uh, last preseason game, Jacksonville, Dallas, I think it's going to be on the NFL Network, so I'm going to try and catch it on Sunday. We'll see. 
but uh, I'm not really excited to see anything this preseason game. I just want to know uh, because my defense starters and backups, I'm pretty confident in the same to go with the offensive starters. Now the offensive line is, might be a mess behind the uh, starters and uh, the quarterback position. Uh, more than likely, Cooper Rush and Gilbert is going to come down to those two. Uh, they might flip a coin or they may go long and have all, all of them just in case. But Ben DiNucci, it, this is his last shot at being on this practice squad or with another team more than likely. They want to keep uh, Mike McCarthy, of all people, wants to stash him on the practice squad and keep him around and develop him. But I, he's not looking like he's developing anything. Uh, he's developed a bad taste for interceptions and throwing sidearm for some reason. And that's him. So we'll have to see. Uh, this is his last shot to make himself look good in the eyes of everyone around the league, not just us. So that's all I'm really looking forward to now and wondering what this 53-man uh, roster is eventually going to look like, where we're going to go long at where we're gonna cut short at. Uh, some of the stuff will be obvious. Some may be a little harder because of all the talent we have in certain positions. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how we're gonna get down from, I do believe we have 81 right now to 53 because Malik Hooker has got activated off the COVID list. I think they have to make a corresponding move to uh, get back down to 80, but I'm not sure. I can't remember the rules as far as uh, the roster count after the cut down day. But that's all for the future. We'll see how it goes. Uh, if anything else happens, you know we'll talk about it. Until then, as VA Dallas Cowboy fan, out.